Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I know it's been a hot little minute that I have not been posting here on my channel, but don't worry. I have make, been making purchases online with every intention of sitting down and reviewing them with you. So today I'm super excited to try out the new Sephora collection matte velvet lipsticks. They came with 20 shades. So when I saw that they came out 20 shades, I was like, wow, they must feel really confident. They're gonna really end up really loving this new collection. The price point, in case you didn't know, it runs for 15 dollars which is really affordable considering Sephora does carry more higher-end products on their website it does mention this supposed to be really creamy with a velvety matte finish pigmented it is vegan which you guys know I love and it does have hyaluronic acid infused in the formula that's supposed to be keeping the hydration to our lips up to eight hours and nonetheless you guys because there were so many different lip shades to pick from I'm not gonna lie it was pretty tricky for me to finally like pick like which ones because they kind of all look different but similar and I was like well I'm ordering this online I don't really know how they're gonna look and I don't want them to look too similar so anyways long story short I ordered four different lip shades that we're gonna be trying on it today we're gonna see what is the consistency like what is the undertone is it actually worth picking up especially because you know Sephora they always have really good sales so I hope you guys enjoy today's video everything will be linked down below in the description box please don't forget to like share and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump on in and try them out. Starting off on our first lip shade, it is number 21 and it is called Me and Only Me and I love the name to it. I feel like it's giving like self-care, self-love, don't forget to put you first, not in a selfish way, okay, don't, not in a selfish way. I feel like it's more of like remember to care for yourself first because I'm the type of person, at least for me, that I give to everyone and then I'm the last one on the on the list when it comes to, you know, priorities. So as of for the lipstick shade, I feel like I'm rambling. As for the lipstick shade, it's described as a brown. And you guys, it is so, so pretty. I'm super excited to apply this on. I feel like it has a neutral undertone. This will go complement so many different skin complexions. It glided on effortlessly, swatching in the back of my hand. It feels really creamy and honestly it feels really lightweight. Like I feel like you won't really need too much product to, for it to show on your skin. So, so far, so good. And I would pair the lipstick shade with a chestnut brown lip liner, chocolate brown, or even nude. You know, you can get really creative when it comes to lip liners, but so far, I really like it. The packaging, I really love. It's different. It's not your traditional black packaging. It's pink. It's kind of matte. Um, I feel like it'll grab my attention right away, especially if I'm looking for a specific lip shade or obviously this collection. And another thing that I want to point out, I'm not sure if they do this with every single type of Sephora lip product, but I do love that they have like a numbering system and they also list the name of the lip shade on the bottom really small, on the side of the little sticker, and obviously the number system because in case, you know, with time it fades, you wanna repurchase your favorite lip shade that you used up, you have different ways of like figuring out you know, which lip shade to rebuy. So I really love that they do this. So I just wanted to point that out. As for a scent to the lipstick, let's see if it has a scent because Usually when it comes to like vegan or clean beauty type of products, they usually don't really have a scent to them. So this one does, but it's so light. Yeah, it's really, really lightly scented. So it's not your vanilla. It's not your like fruity. I feel like it's clean. It smells like some type of like soft flower. I don't know. It smells really good though, but you'd have to get really close. I don't think it's going to be something you're going to notice right away. And I feel like we're also receiving a pretty good amount that this will last you a pretty long time if you end up really liking it. So I'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on, which by the way, I know a lot of you guys ask like the lip combos that I'm wearing and I'm trying to be better at writing them down and posting them in the description box. So they'll be in the description box. If it's not there, it's probably because I did not write it down and I forgot. So I am sorry, but let me quickly remove the lip combo that I'm currently wearing and then we'll jump on in and try on me and only me. All right, you guys, I have removed the lip combo that I had on and I'm going over my lips with little Sephora little puff. I picked these up because I've been seeing a lot of people using them and I've never tried one out. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it out for myself. Let's see how, what it's all about. And I've been using it to like retouch the T-zone area because I get really oily and I was using it right now to kind of go over my lips and so far it's been working really nicely so I'm really like it if there's any other type of like powder puffs you would suggest for me to try out from like different brands comment down below so now we're gonna go in with the me and only me and I'm just gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look at that you guys that's really pigmented I'm gonna go ahead and press my lips together to see how it transfers over 
And so far, transfers over really nicely. It does feel pretty powdery and like, I don't know, it feels like soft. <laughs> me and only me, you know, I know I mentioned earlier that I felt it was gonna look similar to what I had on previously, but no, now that I have it on, I feel like it looks entirely different, but still really beautiful. It's given me fall winter vibes. I feel like you can easily wear this day or night with so many different lip liners. I still feel like a chestnut or a chocolate brown or a taupey lip liner would look really nice paired with this lipstick shade. And I feel like, again, it has a neutral undertone. This, I feel like this will complement so many different skin complexions. It feels really comfortable on my lips. It feels powdery and soft lightweight like i don't feel like i have anything on my lips and obviously it's looking so so pretty i feel like it works really well with my skin complexion i can see myself wearing this lip shade for sure like for work or if i'm gonna go out or anything like that let's see if anything really kind of transfers over because it does feel kind of long lasting to be really honest so let's see and so far, nothing has transferred over. So that's kind of nice. So if you want something that's gonna be long lasting, you're gonna have a lot of meetings throughout the day, or you're just gonna be traveling, or you're gonna go to an event, and you don't really wanna fuss when it comes to your lips, I feel like this could be pretty long lasting. Nothing transferred over too much, and it still looks pretty even on my lips. So, so far, so good. And by the way, I noticed in the last clip that I had like little, little hairs. I was using a little brush to kind of like stipple you know, my makeup, and <laughs> I noticed it was on my face, so I just removed them right now. So if you see them on there, girl, I do not want to refilm that part. So we're just gonna keep it moving. <laughs> so ignore that. So let's move on. Anyways, let's move on to lip shade number two. Now for lipstick number two, this is called Never Ashamed, and it's described on their website as a pink. And let me tell you, girl, it is pigmented. <laughs> it looks so rosy. Like if you love lip shades like this, girl, you're gonna end up really liking it. I not a huge fan of lipsticks like this, but if I do wear lipsticks like this one, I do pair it with more of like a chestnut, not a chocolate brown, but like, yeah, like a chestnut type of lip liner shade, just to give it a little bit more warmth. I don't know, I just lipsticks like this. I don't feel like compliment me as well as like more like nude lip shades. I don't know if it's just me or what, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> So I'm going to go in and apply this on. I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips as always. And look at that, you guys. That's super pigmented. Pressing up my lips together. And there it goes. It transfers over really nicely. So it does give a nice little blush of color. So if you just wanted to apply this on in the center of the lips, I feel like it would work really nicely. Never ashamed. I'm super surprised, you guys. It was so easy to apply on, really pigmented, powdery and soft, not sticky in any way. It didn't apply on patchy. This is definitely more pigmented than the last lipstick, so you can definitely see you know, how it applies on. But so far, it's really nice. I still feel like I'd pair it with a chestnut lip liner just to add a little bit more warmth and make it my own. You can easily wear this day or night. And so far, I feel like it does work well with my skin complexion, so I don't feel like it looks too bad. I think, if anything, I'd probably apply on a light amount in the center of my lips really lightly to dilute the pigmentation and just give a little pop of color maybe even apply on a gloss over it on those no makeup makeup look days or anytime that i just want something a little bit more subtle not as loud but so far so good i have no complaints let's move on to lip shade number three now for lip shade number three this is number one and this is called out of your league which I love the name to that because it's so sassy, so fun. And this is described on their website as a beige. And girl, when I show you the swatch in the back of my hand, this to me, I don't know if it's the lights. I've been sitting here for too long. I don't know what it is, but this does not look beige to me, okay? This looks like the color of my boss right now that I'm wearing. <laughs> it's giving me mauve blush of pink kind of, it's like really light. I don't find it to be... I don't know, it's not giving me beige in any way, That's at least in my opinion. We'll see when I'm ending this video. But if I would wear this, I would wear it with a nude, a chestnut, a brown type of lip liner, maybe even a taupe, taupey lip liner. I feel like that can be a vibe too, just to add a little bit more dimension to the look on my lips. But yeah, I don't think this would be something I'd wear just alone. So I'm gonna go in and apply this on. And again, start in the center of my lips and it literally, I feel like it's almost looking like the color of my skin complexion right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and press my lips together. And it transfers over really nicely. I like how it looks just with that, just alone, like apply it on and just transfer it over, just a little blush of color. I feel like that works 
really nicely. And I would go in with the lip liner, like a warmer tone lip liner. Out of your league, you know, I feel like it's just kind of washing me out slightly. I do feel like it needs a lip liner to add a little bit more warmth and dimension. This lip shade, honestly, you guys, is reminding me a lot. I think it's called MAC. It's from MAC. I think it's called Snob. It's looking a lot like it. It's It was super popular in the early 2000s. I feel like it looks really similar. And yeah, <laughs> does anyone, can anyone relate to that? Does it look familiar? Do you agree? Anyways, I picked up a lip liner that I feel like we can use to line our lips just to show you as an example. This one is from LA Girls called Cafe, and this is the one I had on previously in the lip combo that I was wearing in the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna go in and lightly line my lips just to add a little bit of warmth. And look at that, it just looks more subtle more blending is a little bit more warmth and I don't know I just really love to do this when it comes to certain lip shades that I feel like I wouldn't wear alone but I want to make it work for me and I just feel like this works every single time and I usually get really good compliments on my lips and what I'm currently wearing so I feel like it adds a little bit more dimension it adds a little bit more of that oomph I can definitely see myself wearing this lip shade day or night it is actually really pretty and yeah, I feel like it has a neutral undertone. It could work with many different skin complexions. You just have to find a way to make it your own. And so far, my lips don't feel dry in any way. It feels, again, still velvety, powdery, and soft, and it doesn't feel sticky on my lips. So let's move on to our last and final lip shade. This is called, what is it called? Too Good To Be True? <laughs> this is number 02, and it is really, really pretty, guys. Look at that. I feel like it looks super similar kind of to the last shade, but obviously this is a little bit darker. Still in the mauve rose undertone, you know, color wheel. It's definitely described as a mauve rose lip shade on their website, so that is pretty pretty accurate, at least from what I'm seeing here, so onto the back of my hand. Again, it's still really pigmented, really creamy. It glided on effortlessly when I swatched in the back of my hand, and again, I don't think I'd wear this alone. If anything, I'd light apply a light blush of color like lightly, and then press my lips together and maybe a gloss over it if I feel like I need a little bit more hydration. I would, again, still pair it with a nude chestnut type of brown lip liner, just to add a little bit more warmth to make it my own. But so far, it's really pretty. Pretty. I feel like it will complement pretty much every skin complexion. It'll show up on most skin complexions as well. So, so far, so good. Again, swatching the back of my hand, I'm not picking up a scent whatsoever. So the scent is really, really soft, like I mentioned you guys before. So I just wanted to mention that. I'm gonna go in and apply this on and look at that. That actually looks really pretty. I feel like it almost looks similar to my natural lip color. Too good to be true. It actually looks really nice on my lips. I, I'm surprised I kind of like it, you guys. <laughs> to be honest, I can easily see myself wearing this day or night. Again, I still feel like I'd pair it with a lip liner, but even without a lip liner, I still think it looks really nice on. I feel like it has a neutral undertone that works really well for me. And again, really creamy. It was really easy to apply on and glide it on effortlessly. To be really honest, you guys, is this collection worth the splurge or worth the try? I definitely feel like it is, especially for the $15. I feel like Sephora always has like buy one, get one free or like some type of discount like right now. They could be like, not saying that they are right now, but like they usually have promotions like 50% off, you know, these select items. So I feel like it's definitely worth trying out, go to the store, swatch them back of your hand, really get to see the collection because I know they currently have them now in store. So I definitely feel like it's worth the splurge. I don't feel like it enhanced too much the fine lines to my lips, but keep in mind that I have been, you know, applying them on and removing them on my lips. So if it does, you know, it does make my lips a little bit more dry applying on so many different lip shades one after the other. So that is the only thing, but so far I really like it. And I honestly, liked every single one lip shade but i think obviously the first was all my favorite it was just so pretty i feel like that undertone is so so nice and i just feel like you know i really love that it's vegan i love the packaging i don't have any complaints i feel like it's definitely worth the try so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and i will see you all in my next video bye